Hello guys, thank you for watching. If you are new here and you didn't subscribe, please take a moment to subscribe. It doesn't take more than a second. Today's video, it's a painting that is a little bit similar to the previous one, to Bigger Than Me. Uh, I actually loved to work doing the abstract on the background with pouring and then painting on top of it. Although the level of difficulty is much higher in my opinion and the reason is the, the background influences a lot on how you judge the values you paint the same reason as many would say don't start at plain white don't start at plain black because you will not be able to judge the lights and the dark so well well when you have a lot of information in the background that makes a lot difficult for your eyes to set a point of reference to make the shapes correctly and it was also very difficult to pass the transfer to the fabric because I tried with uh, graffiti, I tried with white and then I tried with blue that you can still see at some point of the painting and no matter what I did I could not have a good view of the, the, the drawing itself but that's it, I kept doing, I love the final work, so I would not stop doing that just because of the transfer difficulty. Well, I love the experience of start using some gold, I am using acrylic on the background, I let it dry for one day, and then I start painting on top of it. If you let it dry long enough, it's not a problem to paint with uh, oils on top of acrylic. But if it starts mixing a, a bit with your ink, it's because it didn't dry it. Uh, you can see that there is a very, very strong difference on the tones from the beginning to the end of the, the painting on the background. And that's because the acrylic, it's a kind of a dew uh, effect. It is very matte and that kills a little bit the life of the color. So in the end, I used uh, some kind of varnish. It's not a varnish, but it's something that adds gloss and the color just got much more bright. I am sorry, I don't know if my voice is weird, but I'm feeling like my throat is not really well today, but I, ha I really had to record the video. Uh, I tried to erase a little bit of the blue that I got there on the transfer that I tried to do because it was mixing with the colors, but I wasn't very successful. Uh, it was nice to do for a second time with pouring because I started to have a lot more of ideas of what to do from, for other paintings in the future uh, of different effects that I can give for different meanings. and. It kind of happened now, the ideas out of accident, like some more in advance in the painting, when the hand is a little bit more well done, you are going to be able to see that there are some kind of stains where the arm finishes, and to me it looks a little bit like the extension of the arm, and this is why it gave me the idea of vanishing. And this is how I decided to call this painting, Vanishing. It's almost like she's vanishing in the environment where she is. And you can see a little bit of that in the neck too. I was also trying to experiment how to make the merge between where the, the painting finishes and where the background starts. I am really happy with the result. I try to leave a little bit more of the background left in this painting, so I did it a little bit smaller. And also, on the two paintings, you can see that I did the whole sheet. And it's not just because it was boring, didn't make much sense to cut it, but also because some people would like to have the painting without a, a frame. And it looks like an extended uh, frame. When you do like that because then when you fold and you stretch the canvas 
you are going to have a really nice border. Well, this time I don't have much to say. Uh, actually, I was just one last thing. I was seeing some videos and I got a tip that uh, when you are doing hands, so it doesn't look like a claw, it's easier to put first the shadows and start working with the highlights on top. I never have much difficulty with the hands, but I decided to try that and I really liked I tr I was trying to make a, a texture skin that this is the point that I'm trying to develop right now give some more, some more texture to my paintings and just got a little bit overdone the hand doesn't look so feminine as I would like to but I prefer to leave it there because I didn't want to, to disappear with the texture. Let's see how it goes on the next ones. If you didn't subscribe, I would like to ask you to click on the subscribe button, click on the notifications to make sure that you receive new updates of when I release new videos. 
and if you do like the video please leave a comment leave a feedback i would like to know your opinion i would like to know what you would like to see and now you're going to see how it is the final piece it looks really cool and all my contacts in case you would like to follow me in other social medias thank you for watching have a great week